Hey, what's up? Joey Fatone here, and I'm going to be seeing the punter's pad, which I don't kind of know what I'm really doing here because usually it's about poker, but we're actually going to be cooking. They're going to be cooking some dishes for me, and I'm going to be a judge. This is going to be very interesting. Now, I've done some cooking shows before with Guy versus Rachel on Food Network. I've also done Chop, but uh, this is going to be entirely different because I don't think these guys really know how to uh, cook that much. Well along, I think even cook breakfast because they're not even up half the time. I'm going to see how good they really are. I mean, they're pretty good poker players, but we'll see how good they are at cooking. Let's go. challenge was we have $20 and we have to serve breakfast, keyword serve breakfast, to Joey Fatone. Now Drew cooks about seven times a day. Justin also cooks breakfast every single day. I'm more of a DoorDash kind of guy. <laughs> Woo. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? Hey, What's up, man? Hey, Joe, your hands are going on. Nice to meet you. Nice What's up, man? Drew, nice to meet you guys. Uh, it actually smells pretty good here so yeah, far. Hey, hey, look at this. We're doing look at you. Is that training? like some sort of hash? Oh, you'll see what it is. You're going to love it. Okay. Love okay. It. Have you guys have any experiences in the kitchen before? I think we're probably the only two that actually have experience in the kitchen, so it should be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you guys keep going. I'm going to go outside and chill. When you guys are done, I will be ready with my stomach to eat. So let's do it. Bring your food feed on. this man. That's right. It's, <laughs> it's a lot to feed. <laughs> good luck. When it came to the breakfast challenge, I generally kind of make the kitchen sink breakfast, so I'm good at kind of working with whatever's in the fridge. So I decided to do a little bit of everything. Some ground turkey, some green and red bell peppers, some onions, some garlic, some this, some that. And then I figured uh, fried egg on top and then spelling out the name Joey, you can't go wrong with that. So we made a little sloppy Joey scramble. It was cool. And dish served, nice. my friend. I call this the sloppy Joey scramble. Sloppy Joey, look at this. I love, I'm loving the presentation. So it looks like, what do you have here exactly? You got some... So this is some guacamole, some green onions, some potatoes uh, with O'Brien, a little bit of ground turkey, onions, bell peppers, and of course an egg on top with a little Joey for garnishment. And I promise you, this will make your hangover go bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye, bye. Hey, hey, I like it. So do I mix it up a little bit or I get Absolutely. a little bit of everything? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I want to know exactly what, what's going on Definitely here. Definitely mix it up, get all the flavors in there. All right, I, gotta, I want to cut that up to get that egg in there. Get a little bit of the green chili. Can I smear the Joey a little bit? We'll Absolutely. Get in there. We encourage the Joey smearing. I love, good. okay, I'm already digging the presentation already. So very, very nice for you. It's good, it's good. Just get in there, get some of that egg, get some of that stuff. Whoa, whoa. See the hash brown. What else is in the hash brown? What else is in the hash brown? Um, a little bit of uh, green peppers and white onion, a little bit of red onion in there, a little bit of green onion, a little bit of a kitchen sink scramble, if you will. Really, really good, man. And I'm not a huge avocado person, but with the avocado, it actually makes it creamy. It has like a little bit of that texture in there. Same thing with the potatoes and stuff. It's pretty dope. Ah. You guys notice he doesn't just take one bite. He just goes for it. I like it. I'm going for it, man. Hey, who's up next? Because you guys got a lot on your hands. You better start cooking. He's going to need it. Let me see the presentation. No, it's bad good. presentation. I don't like it. <laughs> bad presentation after it's already <laughs> I've already chopped it up. And it actually had my name on it. <laughs> the moment of truth. It's, it's, it's tough. Let me, let me make sure I get it disappeared there. You ready? Eight. Hey, I'll take it, baby. Let's go. I give it an eight on, on taste. Presentation. I'd definitely give it a nine. Yeah, let's go. Creativity. You didn't go completely outside the box, okay. but meaning it's it's the normal base of every breakfast. I give it a seven. I'll take it. That's a straight there baby. There you go. Nine, let's go. There you go. We did it. Start. I, mean, I <laughs> felt like I did pretty good. Unfortunately, I think it was a huge disadvantage to go first because I thought my dish was really solid, but you can't just come in and get perfect marks right off the bat. So I think it actually hurt me more than helped me. What is John gonna do? He has like zucchini bread and cilantro. 
Uh, Inspo and Mill came right from uh, Foodie Fit uh, here in Las Vegas. I have some meal prep. I didn't tell Flatone this, but the meal prep was expired by two days. Um, <laughs> I don't think anyone caught it. Literally, like when I when I came in the, the meal, I just like scraped off the ex expiration date. John, I, what on earth could he actually be making? He's got the zucchini bread. This is John's shopping trip. Zucchini bread and cilantro. This is literally all he got. It makes no sense to me. I have literally no idea what he's gonna do with that. He wouldn't eat what he's gonna make. Homemade John Party zucchini bread. <laughs> Um, yeah, my inspiration literally came from I can't cook worth shit. Like, I burn toast, like, KD, I fuck up every single time I try to make it. Um, so we decided the best and safest route was to, to warm up expired scramble eggs and turkey sausage, I think it was, and see what Fatone thought of it. What? What? The microwave is fucked. Ah, uh, we did not foresee this being an issue today. Everything I had planned is absolutely screwed. We gotta figure out how to put another 45 seconds on this fucking microwave somehow. <laughs> oh my God. Joey's gonna be so disappointed. Oh fuck, the plate's gonna be hot. He's gonna new one microwaved it. Now I have to replate. This is devastating. It actually looks fantastic. Wow, look at his face already. He hasn't even really seen it yet. No, I haven't seen it's it yet. It's just I'm a excited. smell hitting his nose. I'm excited. Mr. Fatone. Yes, sir. What do we got here? What we have here is what we call up north, the Northern East Western Canadian Scramble. North East Western Canadian Scramble. I scoured Northern Canada for the best turkeys I could find, turned them into turkey sausage. Gotcha. Then we went to the east. Found the best chicken. Fuck, what lays eggs? Chickens? Yep. Chickens, found the best chickens we could in Canada. Sure. Laid a few eggs, made them into just uh, still eggs. Right. Made them into eggs. <laughs> and then, my friend, the last spot we went. Right, that last spot. I didn't say yet. Right. We found wherever cheese came from. And we threw some cheese on top of just the. Just some cheese. Canadian it looks like different types of cheese. Is it different types or one? And then we have. Oh, two different types of cheese, some mozzarella and some Canadian white cheese. Gotcha. And on the side here, for a little bit of added flavor, straight from Mexico, some salsa verdera. And what do you do? What is this right here? And that, my friend, is the special treat for you this evening. It is fresh zucchini bread, straight out of the oven, also from Central Canada. Now, did you make this yourself, the bread? Joey, have you not seen me in there straight? Yeah, straight. You did you smell it? I, I was smelling I it. I was, just, I was amazed at how that's quickly what... you made that bread. Gosh, Joey. That's, that's like Joey? Some genius shit going on here. Listen, <laughs> it's next level. Yeah. It's next level. These people started prepping this morning. Right. Two weeks ago when I heard that Joey Fatone was going to test my food. Right. I started prepping. Nice. So, a lot of prepping. This is this is two weeks in the works. Alright, right so this is the southwestern, Ooh. eastern, Maybe central. Central. So I do a little salsa in here. <laughs> do I do a little bit of that? Now do I eat the bread with it or just go for this and then I'll take a That's bite? That's a of preference that. thing, you know what I mean? Gotcha. gotcha. Maybe a little bit of maybe a little right. bite after. <laughs> I'm getting there. He's about northwestern right now. Northwestern right now tasting. Wait till he gets to the eastern central kind of. Right. Joey knows what's up. Gonna have to judge you on three different things, of course. We have taste, which, like I said, well. Remember, I talked 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Six. No! It was a taste. No! It was a taste. Okay, well, watch this though. Creativity. Now, remember, I like the eight. I'll give you the eight on the creativity. And uh, obviously, the overall look. I give that about a six as well. So I'll take it. In the middle. Everything's I'm in the middle. Trust me. I was thinking two, so we're weird. No, Way no, ahead no, no. Of I was. <laughs> like I said, I'm a, I'm a simple man, simple breakfast kind of guy, though. Now, if I had to really, really choose on things, eggs were great, really good. Zucchini bread's top notch on this. Come on! He's done it again! He's it's done good. it again! It's good. Woo! So you made this yourself? Hand, handmade? Handmade, baby. No shit. Straight from cut the zucchinis myself. <laughs> it's a good bluff. <laughs> <laughs> good bluff. You scramble the eggs too? And now for your Albertson's <laughs> review. <laughs> bro. My Trust God. me. Thanks, brother. Joey. Appreciate it, man. Fantastic. You. you guys are fucked. My strategy going into the breakfast challenge was 
kind of easy. It's like breakfast, it's cool. This is something I would make when I was on Atkins diet like many years ago. I cut up some green onions, some avocado, and some tomatoes, an omelet. All right, and then what I was going to do is put a little bit of cheese, a little bit of like spicy sauce in the middle of the omelet there. Cheese, a little bit of sauce, and then the two over easy eggs, and then the omelet closes up over rice. I'm Filipino, I grew up on rice. There's almost nothing that I won't put on top of rice and eat it. Uh, and a little bit of uh, like ketchup on top. Oh, and it's so good, man. Take you a little piece of tomato, bring that in with some avocado. Oh, wow, is my food really being judged right now by some like a celebrity? I'm nervous. <laughs> this is weird. I did not think I would be nervous for something like this. Like you're just like cooking, is but I'm like actually nervous. I don't know what it is. I was like, you know what? This guy's like actually cooking and actually trying where I'm just out playing everyone, right? He actually was so nervous. Like I actually felt bad. Is he getting two omelets? No. Don't, don't, don't blow them, man. I'm ready. All right, Drew, how you doing? Good, Joey, how are you? I'm fantastic, sir. I hope I'm enjoying the presentation are. already, and I'm seeing how you cut it open. That's a pretty good twist. I've never seen that before, where you put the egg inside the omelet. So when you cut it open, you get that. That looks great. Can you see that? Check that out. That's pretty cool. All right, let me get in there. Sorry. I'm talking so much. I need to shut my mouth and eat with my mouth. Really good. I'm digging it. Again, cool with the omelet, with the egg itself, and then the egg inside where it's the runny, so you get that yolk taste to it. But then also, for some people that maybe don't, you know, with the toast or anything else, you got obviously the rice that has that carb. Look at the layers, man. One thing about food, you know, it always has different kinds of layers a lot of times. So. Good job, man. Killer. Seriously. Sick. I'm glad you like it. I'm so nervous for this. I was nervous. I kind of blacked out for the judging. All right, so for taste, give it an eight. Presentation, I thought it was good. Eight and well. Creativity, I give you an eye, man, because I like the creativity that you did with the egg and how you put the egg inside that. Like I said, the layers of the rice and everything is something completely different for the creativity that I've never seen. So good job on it, man. Great job. Well done. My pleasure. No problem. All right, I'm going to go pass out. Go for it. <laughs> All right, how's it going? Good, what's going on? I'm fantastic. What do we make, what'd you make here, sir? Banana, French toast, banana nut. I, I can't do this. But yeah, <laughs> yo, dude, I, I, I'm, I, I'm supposed to be a trained actor from the high school I went to. It was the famed performing arts high school, Guardia in Manhattan. And uh, as Katie, my fiance, will remind me all the time that I'm not a good actor. <laughs> Banana nut French toast. With syrup in a shot glass. Gotcha. John, my buddy's Canadian, he helped me with the real maple syrup connect. No, I'm kind of being facetious with that, but. You can but, be. But, um, yeah, no, I know you like French toast. I don't know if you like bananas. I took a gamble. I do, I do. Do we pour this on there? Is that what we're doing here? Also the presentation, yeah, usually syrup goes on French toast. Yep, yep, yep. For me, I like the way it looks, but usually sometimes with this kind of stuff, it tastes even better than it looks. So, I'll let you know in about two seconds. I like banana nut, that's really good. That's really, really good. Hash brown. I like a good damn hash brown too. How'd you cook this? In the pan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. Some people deep fry oh, shit, yeah, no, you never you know. Fry, I guess it's called frying it, like you right. made it in the pan. Gotcha. So you took the banana banana nut bread and how'd you, what'd you do with it basically? You just... Fry everything I know how to make, I just put oil or butter on a pan and just fry went, it. Went to town a whip? Yeah. I like it though. Really, really good. Taste. I actually liked it. I gave it a seven. Presentation. I wasn't very confident, so I understand if... Uh, I like, feel that you weren't very confident. It didn't seem like you were very confident. You all right. I got a six. All right. All right. Creativity though. Kind of not mad at the creativity, I'll be honest with you. I gotta go with that seven on creativity, just because I've never seen it really a banana bread French toast before, per se. And the flavors are really, really good. So I appreciate it. Good job. Right. Very nice. Very well executed. I'm gonna eat the rest of this hash brown. Did you make it all? For some reason, I don't think he made the whole thing. Just to my knowledge, because it looks like it's just banana bread with syrup on it. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the lines of questioning of how I cooked it, because I, I don't know how French toast is made. I guess you just slice toast and then like sugar it, put it in a pan. I, I literally don't know. I know how to assemble food, not make it. And I don't know if that's expected that I like 
just shoved banana into existing bread and then sugared it, or like I floured it. Like I literally have no clue what the fuck goes into making that. And then the hash browns were clearly just like the same as McDonald's. I don't know how to bluff that at all. Like I skinned potatoes, chopped them, put them in a perfect oval, and then fried them for him. I said, how'd you make this? I was like, oh, in a pan. And John's like dying laughing behind me. <laughs> Wait, what scores did you get? Um, he knew. He, he fucking knew. You should have He knew. I got seven, six, seven. I found it. He knew, dude. He knew. He's like, how'd you make this hash brown? I was like, oh, fucking no. I didn't Did you not explain that this is not a cooking competition? This is a serving competition. So in terms of... Sometimes you gotta... I wasn't con... Dude, Rob, I'm sorry, man. Don't worry. I'm, uh, I'm ready. Mr. Perdone. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I see everyone's serving to your uh, it's, immediate, it's but fantastic. you're supposed to be served to the right. Oh, yeah. Thank today, you. Thank you. Look at that. Today, you are going to be tasting a prime rib eggs benedict with a side of hash browns and hollandaise sauce. Gotcha. Enjoy. Nice. Very, very nice. And uh, so you just dabbled the holidays on top of that, right? I would assume. That's, that's completely up to you. I like the little piece That's why I left it on the side. There, though, which I like that with the spoon. Very, very nice. You got to work with what you have. Yeah, I that's like right. It. Yep. So, uh, so there's toast underneath, underneath that. What is that? Under? That's a steak. Sorry. What else is in there? Prime rib. Prime rib. What else did you put in there? That is a biscuit. That's what I'm looking for. That's yep. what I'm looking at. Okay. Biscuit. A little bit of uh, spinach there. Yes, sir. Sauteed. Sauteed spinach. Thank you. Lightly sauteed, which is nice, because usually if it gets too nasty, it's like, oh. You can't do too much of that. Right? Everyone knows that. And how'd you poach the egg? How exactly did you do it? Because some people don't know how to poach an egg. So I'm you, you, put it, uh, you put a pot of water, mm -hmm. you put the egg in, and you can't poach it too long, you know? Right. Then you scoop it on out. I like it. There's a lot of flavors going on here, which is good. I always look for that. Steak is cooked good. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. We know what hash browns taste like, but shit, you know, why not? We're here. When in Rome. You cook it a lot, just a lot. Yeah. Fun fact, I was a uh, culinary, <laughs> I was number one culinary uh, art in 2009. No shit. Cook my class, yeah. Well, for presentation, for me, I liked it. I wish I had more other cards in that, but maybe seven. That's fair. Don't die. That's fair. What's my best person? Taste, 10. Creativity, I give it a nine. Taste, phenomenal. I think it was fantastic. Nine presentation was really good. Uh, creativity actually was nine because I love how you did it with the hollandaise with the spoon and everything else. Overall, really, really good, man. Awesome. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. I'll let you know right now. Nobody got a 10. Just letting you know. Not one person got a 10 except for you. You can yell at everybody and tell it you that's no bullshit. You got a 10. I'm not a huge poached egg person, but the thing is I have to give overall thought on it because I think the flavor of it was really, really good. It had a lot of components in it. I love the steak flavor in it. Had a lot of seasoning in it. Like I said, creativity, seven. Eh. A lot of people do this. So, you know, how creative was it? Oh gosh, maybe pos position matters. Just like poker, legit. Yeah, Guru going last, that, he had the button there and it worked out for him. Almost, almost worked out for him. Hard work beats talent, and talent doesn't work hard. Not only was I talented, I worked hard. I drove all the way to Eggworks. I picked up my prime rib, Eggs Benedict. I fooled Joey Fatone into thinking I actually cooked it. Just absolute skill there, absolute talent, hard work. I did win the uh, cooking part of it until the twist happened, which uh, somebody on production decided that uh, they're gonna make this a little bit more gambling, not a completely skill-based competition. Apparently we have to do a three card flip. That's right, we added a twist. The top two scores, both Rob and Drew, are going heads up. The cards that we were given for a score are going to be the three card PLO flip hand. The winner with the best five card hand will not only get $500 for dinner, but be the champion of the breakfast challenge. <laughs> I like it. I'm with it. I was really sad for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I make a prime rib, <laughs> eggs of Benny, and now I have to flip for my fate? Yep. You want to know another twist? I, Rob and I chopped 50-50 and went to the same place to buy our food. We didn't buy, I cooked that. 
Yeah, I, cook, I cook that. <laughs> right, yeah, I got a hundred on Drew. No, 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 no. You ready? I want Drew. Yeah, you got Drew. I got a hundred on Rob. Fuck, I want Rob. I think I know. Oh, I, I know her. Her. I'm winning. Yep. I got a hundred on you, buddy. Let's go. All Three. right. Let's what? go. That's great right for me. Better kicker. It's two. Diamond. It's so far, it's Rob. Eight. Three. I'm a big favorite. Heart. I'm a big favorite. Out. There's more tens in the deck. You gotta get the heart. 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 One more heart. Joey, don't do it, Joey. Don't heart, do it, Joey. Heart, Joey. Joey heart, heart, Joey. Oh! <laughs> We've done it again. We've done it again. Yes. <laughs> Hunter's breakfast challenge. Nice. Second bank of the trip here, huh? Yes. <laughs> Look at the uh, who it's from. Huge D. <laughs> I love how what we're doing is we're taking basic things and adding like a pure degen element to it. Um, as a degen myself, it's something that I, I'm thoroughly enjoying. Uh, me and Apollo actually had a side bet on how the uh, how the flip was going to go. Um, it looked like Rob was going to be in really good shape, but Drew did end up uh, pulling it out in the end. And your boy made a hundred bucks. It was a profitable day for uh, for J Parts. John, I, what on earth could he actually be making? He's got a zucchini bread. This is John's shopping trip. Zucchini bread and cilantro. We actually went to the store and we found some cilantro. Oh my God, I might not have put the cilantro on it. I left the cilantro. I prepped it and everything. I prepped the cilantro and didn't put it on. No wonder I got six. No wonder, that's why. I'm putting every bit of this cilantro on Joey Flatone's meal. Every fucking bit. You getting flatoned today, Joey? <laughs> oh man, I actually had a chance and I blew it. <laughs> fucking flatone. <laughs>